Our Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we come humbly before you this morning. It is Monday. Lord, your bride is under great expectation for a wonderful time around the world. We have been blessed yesterday by the preaching of the word. And today and the next few days coming, oh God, if you allow us to have some more days, Lord, to be able to minister or to encourage one another, Lord, help us to remain faithful. And Almighty God, we pray that you will help us and bless your children, Lord. Some of them are going to work. Some of them are staying home. Some of them are going to school, to the different colleges. Lord, some of them are traveling by bus. Some of them are traveling by car, by train. Lord, I pray the blessings of the Lord. I pray the token, the blood of Jesus Christ upon their lives this morning as they travel, O oh God, towards the different work activities, Father. May you bless them, O oh God, wherever they will be going. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Beloved Bride of God, Kinders van die Heere, wees gegroet in daar die onfeilbare naam van onze Heere Jesus Christus. We welcome you, even you, brother, sister, young person that is tuning in for the first time. Maybe this is your first time receiving this little devotion. This little devotion, it is just here to be an encouragement to you. As you go to work, while you are studying at home, while you are driving in a taxi or in a train or even in your garden or even in your backyard, wherever you go, this little devotion, you might be still in bed this morning, but let me tell you this morning, this is just to be an encouragement. This is the little part that we can do in the economy of God. We are so grateful that we are part and parcel of this great economy of the Almighty God. Whatever you can do, amen, hallelujah, to be a blessing to somebody out there, a friend, a neighbor, a colleague, a brother or a sister, make sure that you are that you are a blessing. Amen. Wees a seen in hierdie week vir iemand daar buitekant. Maak a verskil in iemand se lewe. Make a difference in the life of somebody. Testify to them about the goodness of God. Lead them to Christ. Tell them about Jesus. Tell them that he has risen from the death. That he is not dead but that he is alive, hallelujah. And I'm trusting, hallelujah, that God will provide enough data for you to be able to send out this little devotion, hallelujah. And that God will just provide for you in a special way, even to be able to listen to this little devotion, hallelujah. May God bless you. Brother Nikki loves you. I appreciate you. I want to appreciate your prayers once again as we continue serving the Lord, as we continue to pray for one another. We, we come from a wonderful week. Last week we spoke on the power of declaration, the power of the voice of God, the power that God has given us. Praise the name of the Lord and how Amen, hallelujah, the, how God has given us, amen, hallelujah, the power that how we should declare, hallelujah, positively. And this week we just like to continue, but we will look, it, we will look into it from a different perspective, a different angle. What I like about the word, the word of God is, uh, the word of God is an inexhaustible fountain of life. The more you preach, the more you pray, the more you study, it's one revelation upon a revelation, it's one inspiration upon another inspiration. You can never out-preach the Word of God. 
or you can never come to a place where you can say that you have preached all the Bible. Rather, every time you open up the Bible, you realize you are not even half through the Bible, half through the Word of God. Hallelujah. And this week, if God allows us to speak, we would like to encourage you by titling our little text, Amen, the position of the bride of God, the position of the believer. But we don't want to stop there, but we also want to underline the next few words, exercising, amen, your authority on your position to be often. Who on your position, how to exercise, how to, how to exercise your authority in your position. You find out today, and I want us to read quite a number of scriptures. I want you to study the second book of Kings, chapter 1, and read the full portion of it. And also, I would like you to read in the book of Mark, chapter 11, verse 27, and study this little portion. What we want to come to this week, hallelujah, brothers and sisters, is very simple. It's one thing to be positioned. It's one thing to receive or to accept a position. But it's another thing, amen, to be able to exercise your authority in your position. And I would like to read, amen, what you in the second book of Kings, to the book van Koenings, Hallelujah. I would like to read a few verses. 2 Kings chapter 1. Let's read a few verses. Here we see it's a very clear amen scripture. And we don't even have to misunderstood this part of the word. 2 Kings chapter 1 verse 14. Elijah, let's start somewhere. Let's read from verse 10. And Elijah answered and said to the captain of the 50, This is what happened. If we read from the first few verses, we will notice that the king, amen, he fell, amen, from the upper chamber, amen, hallelujah, he got sick, and he inquired his, his servant, hallelujah, to go to Balsibub, uh, 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 the god of, of Ekron, Amen, hallelujah, whether I shall recover of this disease. He went to question, he sent out his people to inquire from his God if he would recover from his disease. And these men, on their way, just short and quick, quickly, on their way, they met with the prophet Elijah. God spoke to Elijah but the angel of the Lord said unto Elijah the Tisbite, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria, and say unto them, Elijah, being positioned as a prophet of God, he was able to hear directly from the throne of God. There is so much that we would like to touch on this coming week. But the basic principle, the basic, the little inspiration is very simple. It is to bring us to a place to realize that, that we have to really understand how to exercise our authority in our position. The position that God has placed us into. Very important. We don't want to make the mistakes that others has made in the past. We don't want to make the mistakes that we have made in the past. We made a lot of mistakes and I believe and I believe that you can agree with me this morning and that you can agree with me say brother Nikki 
I have made a lot of mistakes. First of all, I believe that I am positionally placed as a son and a daughter of God. But being a son of God and a daughter of God, I have made a number of mistakes because I did not really understand how to exercise my authority being a son and a daughter of God. And I'm trusting this week, my brother and sister, as we are laying a little platform today so that we can take it from there every morning to encourage you that we don't have to make the same mistakes over and over, but that we learn from our mistakes and that we, at the end of this week, that we will rejoice in our hearts that from this little devotion, God has used His servant just to bring a little light to how to exercise. Remember, I cannot preach. I have no ability of myself to preach the word. And first of all, I can always say, I'm just an uneducated servant of God. I love God with all my heart. And the only thing I want to do, amen, is to serve God and to love God's people. And as long as God gives me a voice, I would love to be an encouragement to the bride of God. No matter if I preach to you on this little devotion, or if I preach to you on an open air service, or in a tent, or in a church, I want to be a blessing and an encouragement as long as God allows me to do that. And may God help you this morning, my brother, to have the same desire, amen, to be a blessing to your family, to be a blessing to your church, to be a blessing to your wife and your children, and to be a blessing to the body of God, and to be a blessing, hallelujah, even to your community. Very important. And that is how we learn to exercise our authority in the position that God has placed us in. And here we look into this very, very important scripture that how this king, in his position, he had authority to speak as a king in his position. He instructed his messengers to go and inquire from their gods Hallelujah, whether the king shall recover from his disease. But there was another authority. God above. Oh, oh my, I'm so excited. Oh my, God instructed his prophet. The angel of the Lord spoke to Elijah and said, Arise, meet up with these messengers. Meet up with these messengers and tell them, hallelujah, that the king of Samaria say unto them, It is not because there is not a God in Israel that you go to inquire of Baal Sebab, the God of Ekron, now therefore thus saith the Lord, Elijah called by God as a prophet. He heard the voice of God very clear when the angel of God came to him and spoke to him and instructed him what to do. 
and Elijah in his position. Oh God help us. And say Pozisi. Hallelujah. Amen. He, he, he stood up. He arise as a prophet. And he went boldly. Boldly Elijah went. And meet up with these messengers. And he instructed them according the word of God. My precious brother and sister, before we close, I want to send you to work with this few words. I want you to go to your office and I want you in your position, in your position, maybe you are the director or a school principal or a nurse or a policeman or a doctor or a director of a managing director of your office. Or maybe you are just a foreman or a supervisor. In whatever position you find yourself in, physically and naturally in this world, remember, hallelujah, to make sure that whenever you exercise your authority, that it's not been done without the consultation of the presence of God because sometimes we act because we we have this authority and sometimes we exercise in our position we exercise hallelujah because we have the authority and sometimes we make many mistakes never do it without consulting the presence of the almighty God Father, may you bless your children in Jesus' name. Amen.